So certainly we will all have full bellies and lots of leftovers after Thanksgiving. And sometimes you may not know what exactly to do with those leftovers. But thankfully our good friend here, <laughs> Chef Raquel, is going to help you with just that. She's going to show us how to make some uh, ravioli with cranberry sauce. So this is sort of a unique twist. you got sage cooking. That's right. Great. So what we're doing is... We I, I thought about some common uh, leftovers. So we yep. have some sweet potato puree, and then we have some cranberry sauce because that's usually a heavy uh, thing. And then we have turkey if you wanted to to add it into the ravioli. Okay. So basically, what I'm going to have you doing is using these wonton wrappers. Yep. I'll get you some fresh ones. We are going to make them into circles, rounds. You okay. don't have to. You can actually keep them into triangles. I've never made ravioli awesome. before. Well, this is a cheat. Is that you do it? Okay. Yeah. So you're going to press make, hard, okay. and then you can cut around. And just pull. Okay. And that comes across nicely. All right. And you. Yeah, you're, she's you're, doing you're her thing. Her up. She's I'm like trying a here. Huh? I'm a pro. In here, we have some sweet potato puree. And then you can take some ricotta cheese and give that. So we're whipping this up. Yeah. Cool. Put yeah, so, so this is really like a, a hodgepodge of uh, all of your typical ingredients, right? Yeah, exactly. And if you wanted to go the meat route, you can definitely uh, add some turkey as well. So nice. I made two. Do we need more? Yeah. That's good. Okay. And so. What you're doing is then you're going to take each ravioli with Ryan's filling. Okay. There you go. And you're going to add that Made right in the love center. For Sarah, you know? <laughs> right in the center of it. You said this is sweet potatoes? That's sweet potatoes, ricotta and cheese, ricotta and parmesan. Cheese. Okay. Yeah. Is that enough? That's perfect. Okay. So a nice tablespoon of it. That's yep. great. And then you are going to use some water yep. and wet, wet the top of that, the whole top. Okay. This way you can press it down. Put it right on top? That's right. And okay. press out any of the air bubbles. That's pretty simple. I mean, it, it, exactly. it looks a little overwhelming. Like, can we actually do this at home? But this is not pretty. that bad. And then what I got here is some melted butter mm -hmm. and some sage. And sage is another thing you might have from your turkey. It smells so good. Yeah. Nice. And then you just kind of saute them? I, you saute it until it gets nice and brown. And you see in the bottom of the pan all the brown bits that kind of come from the butter. Yeah. So it gives a nice nutty flavor without having to do anything that hard. And okay. then you have cranberries too. What's what's going on yeah, with cranberries? Yeah, so the cranberry sauce, it's either you make it, you know, homemade or you're using one that's in a can. Yep. Whichever one works. If you get the berry one, it's nice because you have some texture and you loosen it because otherwise it's like really jelly. Um, so you can add some apple cider or chicken stock or even water to kind of make it Got more sauce-like. Yep. And if this isn't your thing, like, you know, using cranberry sauce, you can swap it for maybe turkey gravy that yeah. you have left okay. over. And you can change the inside as well from sweet potato to maybe mashed potatoes, whatever you have. The idea is just continue to use something that you have on hand. So it's nice, too, to have yeah. it be different than the Thanksgiving meal. I mean, it's like the it's pasta, like the ravioli, it's really a, a contrast. Exactly, and changing it up. And then, yeah. you know, I mean, there's nothing wrong with leftovers the next day. And sometimes that's the best. Right. Yeah. Um, but then after a couple of days, it gets yeah. kind of a little bit boring. So anyway, the finish, beautiful job. I, that's yeah. awesome, right? Good job. Sarah, We're excelling you, in the kitchen this week. You need a sous chef or something? You need a great job. Yeah. It was great. I, I think one of the cool things, we have about a minute left. You yes. do so much good work here in the community. So, so tell us all about what you're working on. So now I am, I just finished up a culinary training program. Um, it was for free for people who want to uh, enter the food world, but maybe culinary school is expensive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so I did a 12-week training there, and I'm hoping to run it again and tie that into the farmer's markets in Bridgeport. That's awesome. That's so this way work. they're actually, you know, learning some more stuff and really applying what they learned and earning some money while they do it. Your chef. That looks so pretty. Got your little fork action Thank here. Thank you. Do you mind if we dig in? Nope. The Go finished right ahead. product. We have Sarah, to dig in. in. We have to dig in. Come on. So, again, this is a Thanksgiving leftover ravioli. Oh, we got cheese. A little bit of everything, huh? Can't go wrong. Got to get a piece of the sea. Oh, it's so good. And, and we can find you online for, for more information? You can. So, it's a pinch of salt. Mm. And you can go right on there. How is it? It's, it's awesome. really, really good. I dig it. All right. Well,